In this presentation we look at how to work with times and dates in R. Now the command to find out what the current time is is sys time um, leave the brackets empty. Now the current time now is um, 1646 GMT. I'm in Ireland so we use GMT and it is the 5th of January 2013 so that's the, day, the date there the time and the time zone. Now suppose I was trying to figure out the length of time a program took. Suppose I left the program running overnight and I might start off by <coughs> um, saving the time. So I'm actually going to save this as time 2 So that's saved now. So let's see, have a look at time two. So uh, now earlier on, I saved time one. So it was about a couple of minutes ago. What I'm able to do here is find out the amount of time it, that elapsed between the two uh, times, time one and time two. So we have a time difference here of 3.65 minutes. Okay, so suppose I was running a program that started at time 1 and finished at time 2, it would have taken 3.65 minutes. Now, quickly we're going to have a look at the structure of the data, so I'm going to go back to time 2. Now, this is a PO6CT, this is a special type of data structure used for calendar data, and there we have the format there. I can also use have a, um, a very similar command to, f to work with today's date. Now the command is sysdate and again it's the 5th of January 2013. You just might notice though that there's a capital D here where in this case we had a small t. And for the sake of completion I'm going to save that as date 1. And for the sake of completion, I'm going to sort of see what the structure of this data set is, of this data value here. It's actually a date, so that's the data structure for this value here. And that's it.